Right, this campaign, this is the story. Campaign to put up a statue of a footballer who was dropped by England because he was black. Jack Leslie played for Plymouth Argyle in the 20s and 30s, the only black professional footballer in England at the time, picked to represent England against Ireland in 1925 after being ruled out. A lot of statues coming down, justifiably. We should think about ones that should go up. Lynn Davis, one of Jack Leslie's granddaughters. Hello, Lynn. Hiya. What do you think about this campaign to put up a statue? I can't believe it. I still have to pinch myself after all this time. Do you? Yeah. What was he like? Oh, he was a fantastic man. He was a hard-working man. Never heard a, a bad word from him. And uh, when he was dropped from playing, he, he never got bitter about it, which I can't understand why. Yeah, it's he, in, in... he just said it was one of those things in those days. Oh, just to have to have to have that attitude and just yeah, get on with it. It's terrible, isn't it? Did he? Did it he... is. Did he talk about his career as a, as a footballer? He didn't say to us a, a lot about his career because it had finished by the time we came along. But uh, when he got to work for West Ham in the boot room, it gave him a new lease of life because he loved talking to, uh, to the players about the football. Did he? Yeah, well, so it brought the football back into his life then. Yeah, when was that? Oh, don't ask me dates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah, thinking because he finished it, work and retired, and he, he got bored. I'm just at thinking, home. Yeah, Lynn, because if it was in the 70s, there was a great player at West Ham, a black player called Clyde Best, and I was just thinking if it was round about that time. Yes, he was there. He was one of the players. He cleaned the boots for Bobby Moore and Jeff Hurst and Clyde Trevor Brooking. Yeah, he was a great player, Clyde Best. It's it's a wonderful thing, wonderful yeah. memories of your grandfather. You must be very proud. Yes, I am. I just saw the BBC site and had his stories on, and uh, it made me cry because it was so poignant still. Mm, gonna have a look. I recommend yeah. it to people. Thank you very much, Lynn. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Lynn Davis, one of Jack Leslie's granddaughters. It's a wonderful story, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, just to make you aware, there is a campaign, a crowdfunding campaign at the moment to help raise money for this statue for Jack Leslie in Plymouth. And lots of discussion about where it might be, um, possibly a square that was once named after a slave trader as well. So look up Jack Leslie if you want to find out more.